guys, it's Chilly, and I pre-record my videos, so you guys are probably wondering why I've been wearing the same outfit for the last three videos. Well, I swear, this is the last time you guys will see me wearing this. Until, like, I don't know, a few months' time when I run out of clothes again. But anyway, I am here today, and I am doing the tattoos and books tag. This was created by... The Book Brood, which I will leave a link to below. I just had someone comment on my video saying that I should do this tag because I saw two of my tattoos and think it would be a good idea for me to do it. And because I like to please you guys, I'm doing it. So it consists of nine different questions that talk about books and tattoos as well. So let's just get straight into it. The first question is how many tattoos do you have? I currently have three tattoos. I have one on my finger, which is like a little bird cage. I've got a book on my wrist and I also have one on my foot. Um, which my feet are dirty. Good old farm life, you know? But it consists of like a tiger lily with the words on the side saying gone but not forgotten. I'll like insert like a photo here of when my feet are clean so you guys can see what it looks like. Pretty, right? Question number two is, do you have any book-related tattoos? This baby right here, this this beautiful book, which it, it always goes skewed unless I have my arm like this, so yeah, look at that, yeah. Small book, big book, small book, big book, yeah. I think I got this one now, maybe like two, three years ago, and I still just love it. I just, I love it as much as I love my books, you know. Number three is, how old were you when you first got into reading, slash how old were you when you got your first tattoo? I started reading books like the moment that I could. I just picked them up when I was younger and I would flick through them and I think it was maybe like four when I could start to read books on my own. But my Nana was a huge reader so I kind of adapted that off her as well. I did go through a period like through high school where I did not read as much but if you guys couldn't tell I back into being a huge reader. And as to when I got my first tattoo, I was 17, I had to get my parents permission, and it's probably my most meaningful tattoo, and it is the one that was on my foot. Question number four is, what is the longest book you have read, slash the longest time you've sat down for a tattoo? For As for the longest book that I have read, I would have to say it'd be Les Mis by Victor Hugo. That book is fucking huge. I think if I was going to build a house out of books, I would just order like Les Mis over and over and over because it is like the perfect foundation for a home. So it's like 1,232 pages long of like small writing. So I can't even remember how long this took me, but it's definitely the longest book I've read. As for the longest time it took sitting to get my tattoo, it would still once again have to be my foot. That took about two hours. Question number five is current favorite book and also your current favorite tattoo. This question isn't very fair because when I say my current favorite book, it's pretty tough because it swaps constantly between The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and Aristotle and Dante by Benjamin Elia Sands. So like, as for currently, I think right now in this moment, my current favorite is Aristotle and Dante, but if you had to ask my all-time favorite, it would be The Book Thief. Just because I can't choose one book, I have to explain to you guys that I love those ones over again, like you guys don't already know. And as for my favorite tattoo, you guys are gonna go so sick of me saying this, but once again, it is the one that's on my foot. I have a lot of meaning to this tattoo. I think that no matter what, I'm never gonna wake up one day and not like it. Question number six is favorite style of tattoo slash favorite genre. My favorite genre, come on guys, is fantasy. Who does not love fantasy? Probably some of you, but if you guys watch this, you know that I love fantasy. As my favorite style of tattoo, I would have to go for like the traditional old school style. My dad, he worked in the Navy and he's got a lot of them. And I just love the old, like the flowers and the banners and the sparrows look. And I definitely know that when I do get my next tattoo, I will get that certain style. Question number seven is, aren't you worried about how those tattoos will look when you're 60? Slash, why do you always have your nose in a book and what are you sick of reading? That's a big question, so we'll start off with why do I always have my nose in a book because I hate the real world and I love to escape it. What am I sick of reading? Overused freaking tropes. I will leave a link to my top 10 worst tropes video because I have so much hatred for them. You can see it in the video just me like seething as I mention them. Let's say as an example though, love triangles, the chosen one trope, the I'm not like other girls trope, I just know fuck off. And aren't you worried about how those tattoos will look when you're 60? I am not worried at all because I can assure you I'll be wrinkly and flabby and maybe even dead at that point. So who really cares what they will look like? Because I certainly won't. Even when this one turns into like one big ink splodge on my finger, I'm still just gonna be like, I don't give no shit. I think that if anyone ever says that question to me again, I'm going to go and get like a little middle finger just tattooed right here so that I can give people like a double rude finger whenever they ask me. Question number eight is how has tattooing and booktube affected you? 
Booktube has affected me in a great way. I find that I have become a better person since doing it. I'm a lot more confident, I'm a lot more friendlier, and I feel a lot more happier than what I used to be. I think that's mostly because of people who like watch these videos. I feel like I have more friends and I'm more open to you guys and it's just, I don't know, it's just changed me to be a greater person. And as for how tattooing has affected me, I think it's affected me in a way that I can show people my personality and things that I love a lot in my life by having these perfect pieces of art on my body. Except for this one, like this one has no real story. I just got this when I was with a friend. It's the only impulse tattoo that I've actually bought. And I go through like the biggest waves of it. Some days I love it and some days I'm just like, why? <laughs> Number nine is any advice to newbies on tattoos and booktubing. Any advice to newbies on booktube, I would say just be yourself. I know it's like the most difficult advice that anyone could give you, but I definitely think that having someone on camera where you can see the personality radiate through definitely keeps you captivated and wants you to continue watching those videos. And as for advice for people who are getting tattoos, I would definitely say think about the options that you want and sit on them for a while. A tattoo is for a lifetime. You could obviously wait a few years or a few months or however long you think is an appropriate time before you decide on getting one. And in saying that, a tattoo doesn't have to mean so much to you. It could just be something that you think is absolutely beautiful and still want it on your body. Because with this like little guy here, I don't really care for them that much, but yeah, I'm stuck with them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys want to do any other tags, just tell me. I'm totally on board to do them. Plus, I have a well of ideas for booktube that is just quickly going down. There's like a drought happening and there is no water in there. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. And for the last two years, I have failed my Goodreads challenge. And I think like the last time that I failed it, I probably failed it